Today's video is brought to you by Coca-Cola. Have a Coke and a smile and uh, you know the rest. Well, hello fellow YouTubers. Well, back at it again. Here is the now that I know Ibanez S370. Thanks to a fellow YouTuber who found out some more information for me. Thanks, T. So, it's put back together and pretty much cleaned up. Got all the fucking grime and crap and everything else that was on every bits and pieces cleaned up on it. I haven't done anything with the Floyd Rose yet. I got the neck back on. Took the neck off the guitar, as you saw in the last video, straightened it out with the truss rod, then masked everything off and did a fret leveling job on it. And uh, as you can see, they are nice and shiny. So what do I use for doing a fret leveling? Well, you know, I got my blocks and I got my polishes and rags and sandpaper. You all have seen how I do that. But what I've been using for polishing after hitting it with the uh, 1500 and 2000 grit sandpaper is just simple Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. Works out pretty good. Thanks, Mother. And for cleaning the body, basically, you know, getting rid of any type of a uh, foreign material or, or grime, grit, whatever that's on the fucking thing, I've been using just regular... 3M rubbing compound. This is a little bit of an aggressive rubbing compound, so it does help remove any type of scratches that are in the finish. Uh, use it sparingly. Don't use a lot of it. Don't need to use a lot of it. And you can use it uh, just rubbing it by hand. After using that, I got the number two and the number three, which in this case being a flat paint, flat finish, uh, it's not really going to gloss anything up, but it will remove the scratches from the previous rubbing compound. Then after that, I hit it with a little bit of McGuire's wax. Simple. And it brings out the color a little bit more on there and uh, still has that flat look to it. So headstock is all cleaned up. Again, I just have to work on that Floyd Rose over there. And as you can see right now, there is some black pad inside of here where the tremolo sits and I found some fairly thin foam rubber which basically is the same crap that uh, I took out of there this is a piece of the old stuff which is not flexible and if I try to bend it it just snaps into pieces pretty much dry ride so oh what's going on over here oh I went and I picked up a bunch of uh, smart watches and uh oh, got an update for ebayware this is a nice one here it's got built-in cameras on it it's got a speaker on there and a microphone you could talk into it uh goes on the internet on from your wrist from your phone to your wrist this one here is not bad this is an lg and basically it's just a google google watch whatever you want to call it, smart watch but uh yeah so right now just uh Kicking back and not doing too much of anything, you know, just taking care of a few things around here before I start digging back into this and gonna take the tremolo apart. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe blocking it, but I will see about that after um, I do the setup if I really want to block it or not. And uh, I've been messing around with the playing a little bit guitar and kind of been using the Chipson over there with the EMG pickups on there changed everything out on that if you followed my videos about the Chipsons uh, It's actually been a very good guitar. It's been staying in tune now that uh, cold is hit air conditioner is off and the heat is on um, So far the guitar neck and and being in tune is very minimal as far as change goes so it's been working out pretty good, but like I said, I'll be back working on this thing and making some noise with it. Yes, I said noise, not music. So we'll see. And always remember, have a Coke and a smile. And you know the rest.